This is the entrance to the Belle Isle State Park. And it costs $11 a year to get an annual state park pass that allows you to come to Belle Isle or any state park, not just Belle Isle. There are over 100 state parks and state game areas throughout the state that you can use the same pass for. This is the sticker that you have to buy. And if you haven't paid for it when you pay for your license plate. But these Phragmites, they came in on a ship and they started displacing all of these. Mm -hmm. So for a long time, they were, you see how that whole field there, they used to be all, they were all uh, cattails. And people are used to seeing them. Grandmas used to have them picked and put them. They dry them and use them for all kinds of ornamental plants in the yeah, fall yeah, the because they made it. Yeah. And they came in wetlands and it were easy to get. But these Phragmites start taking over the swamp. So now the DNR, and, the, and that's why I was telling y'all so much about how I appreciate Michelle's work because she got with the people at Michigan State and with DNR and they were able to find a way to kill them and now the native plants are coming back. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Detroit's beautiful Belle Isle Aquarium. Oh nice. This, this shows off the electric eels and it teaches children about how, they, how they, their electricity is, is dealt with. And this is a chart that shows when they're letting off electrical charts. And you can see them. We don't want those to bite us. We have to show the frogs and the chameleons. It's free to children, open Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. And we're ending now our first segment here on Belle Isle. Uh, I'm Council President Pro Tem George Cushingberry. We've been showing off our beautiful island that's on lease to the state. And the state's been a good steward. This is the beautiful Scott Fountain, built in 1923 from a bequest of a very philanthropic man, Mr. Scott. It's still a beautiful fountain. It changes colors at night. And it's very ornate. It's built of beautiful marble, and it has beautiful uh, spouts and color. So come and visit this beautiful jewel right here in the middle of the city of Detroit and the Detroit River.